Last year, I went on an Amazon extravaganza looking for a bunch of selling supplies for my hats. I successfully made about 30 last year and sold them, but this year I think I can top it. In this video, I will be making illuminated hats with my Addy Express illuminating machine. It's a little bit faster than your traditional round loom, and I thought it would be an interesting video for you to watch on how I make my illuminated hats for more production style purposes. I had to drag out all of the filming equipment again for this video and it feels so good to be back on this channel again after being pretty stagnant over this summer. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Alrighty, so last year I hit my goals and I bought a ton of Karen Cakes yarn. This is by far one of my favorite kind of yarns for this particular project because it's super light and it's flexible and most importantly it doesn't shred up on my machine. The Addy Express, if you have one or you're thinking about getting one, just know that it's super touchy with the kind of yarns you use on it so if you're new to the Addy and you have one and you're not sure what to use on it I would highly suggest Karen Cakes yarn because it's by far been so much nicer than any other yarn I've used on this machine so now I'm going to get into it first of all I start by pulling out a long tail and then I drape it into the center then you'll notice that there is a white and a black peg but they're all numbered so I go between needle 46 and needle number one and drape it around the first needle with my right hand on the handle, I crank it clockwise, all the while zigzagging my yarn in between every other peg. This is super similar to the drawstring cast on, and ironically, it is the same thing. Then on my first row ever, I will actually put the yarn inside the little catch or the latch area and make sure that's closed. And then I just start placing the yarn in front of each peg using the crank. For the first few rows, I move pretty slowly, but by the time I get to row number five, I'm chugging away really quickly. I've learned that this machine does really well if you just keep up a pretty consistent speed and I do it as fast as I can while listening to YouTube videos which by the way my favorite pastime some of my favorite YouTube videos right now I know this is kind of weird but I've been listening to this youtuber for a little while and I really like her stories pretty interesting learn a lot of lessons from her stories so I've been watching her I also love listening to music while I'm doing this using the Addy is amazing it's really fast and depending on your speed and how you like to work you can usually compat with in 20 minutes. I'm getting towards the end here and I'm doing 140 rows.
so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it and I hope that over the next few weeks I can continue to make lots of content for you. Unfortunately, due to time limitations and a lot of other things that are going on right now, I will not be able to produce as much content as I used to, but I hope that I can give you more quality over quantity. I will hopefully see you in the next two weeks for the next video. Ray Light Knits out.